yeah, I want to I want to clarify the plump, healthy skin too, because you might think, oh, down on the ankles at ninety six years old, that's called pitting edema. No, no, no uh, that's not uh, what I'm talking uh, about. <laughs> no pitting edema. Yeah. No, and and it was, it was healthy skin. It was like it was like a baby. Yeah. It was like you know, like a baby's like plump. You need like you know, people say oh, a fat baby is healthy. No, they're talking about like a plump. They're not fat. They're it like, wasn't no. fat. It wasn't no. pitting edema. It wasn't no. swelling. It was no. just healthy, healthy tissue. Absolutely. You are listening to The Dr. Haley Show, the podcast dedicated to helping you optimize your health. Each episode, there will be an interview or a message to help you discover better health. We will be featuring health radicals on the show to bring new ideas to the table, as well as doubling down on key fundamentals to support you living your best life. Your host is no other than the founder of Haley Nutrition, Dr. Michael Haley. I'm Dr. Michael Haley. This is the Dr. Haley Show podcast. In today's episode, we are meeting with Andrew Block, a physical therapist. And in a later episode, we're going to talk about some of his unconventional healing techniques that he has developed. But in today's episode, we're going to explore who Rodney Stockton was, how Andrew has come to know of Rodney Stockton, and the health benefits of aloe vera. Enjoy the show. When did you meet Rodney Stockton? So I had my my uncle, uh, who was just a health nut, like just totally into tinctures and everything. He had a guy in Hollywood who used to go to get all his tinctures. And he told me about Hello and then the story of this guy, Rodney Stockton. And he you know got me going on my i guess my a lot of my health journey and so i he said hey you can go and pick it up at his at his house and this is going back it's probably early 1990s i imagine i don't know how old rodney was then but he he was probably definitely in his late 70s if not 80 and uh I remember seeing him when I, you know, he, he had these, the five gallon bucket jars. His skin looked like, like he didn't have a wrinkle. I was like, I was just totally blown away by the guy. And he was just so real. I, I really loved Rodney. And that's how I, I got him through my uncle. And then, you know, I, you know, a five gallon jar, what is it, 40 pounds. And I'm like, you know, let me, let me grab that. He, he would have none of it. Yeah, he grabbed, on each hand. yeah, he grabbed that thing. He put it in my car for me, like, you know, and, you know, he was like, whatever, 75 years old, not a wrinkle on his body. Um, and just had a cool story. He was telling me all about aloe and what the difference of his, you know, his version of aloe and why I made, you know, that like kind of this anti-cancer properties because it was grown in the coral. And uh, he kind of had me going right there. I, you know, the hard part back then, I didn't have like a big freezer, so I was five, you know, I had to do all the stuff with that. But uh, yeah, and I've been. Can I do a Rodney Stockton impression? Yeah, that, yeah. Now, this is just an impression, okay? FDA, don't come after me, okay? None of what I'm going to say is true. These are just things that Rodney said, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. You got cancer, you know, you got to do is just drink three glasses a day to be gone in a couple months. And then after that, one glass a day, just to maintain health, and you'll be fine. That's a very good, that's exactly, exactly. And I, and I didn't work with cancer. And he was, he was, and I don't know, maybe he was right in some ways, because he was, he looked great. If any, you know, anyone else saying it, you might not, but when you looked at this, at his skin, you, I was just amazed by that. Uh, something that I'm going to tell you about his skin that'll blow you away. But I have a picture of him in a newspaper, 1958. Well, I have a scan of the 1958 newspaper that he's in. Yeah. And this was about the time he discovered aloe. So he didn't have the benefit of using it for years when this picture was taken. And I'll show you that when we're done here. He looked old in 1958. Years later, I met him in the late 90s. He looked amazing. 
you know, when he was in his 80s. Now, in 2009, he was 96 years old. He died of a heart attack. He was working right up to that time. I remember talking to Joan Stockton, his former wife, and she said, I just talked to him 15 minutes earlier. And he was doing great, and he had a heart attack. He was in the hospital on life support for a few days after that, and I went to see him. It was just his body, still alive. His brain was dead. And I looked at his legs. Usually the part furthest from the heart is where, you know, there's the least circulation. Everything's kind of black and dead looking. Plump, white, healthy skin. 96 years old at the furthest part away from his heart was amazing. And I could picture it and feel it still to this day, like I did there then that day. And and you used the right word. It was plump. Like his skin was like plump. And it was, it was, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you, I, you know, I, what is it, 1990? I was probably met him like 95, 96, a little bit before you, yeah. which I was so happy because, you know, I, I hadn't seen him in a while. You know, I'd follow him and I'd order some different stuff. And I was so happy to see like his legacy, you know, was carried on. He still had this great product to or you know for people to to utilize and you know eat, you know put on your skin and take it internally so i was i was excited that actually and i couldn't tell you that i didn't think about actually you know finding out like what is he doing because he, he he definitely didn't have the you know he didn't understand the internet he didn't, you know like we didn't have the internet back then either but like i don't know he he was selling out of his garage Pretty you know, much. And so, you know, <laughs> seeing the operation is now, like it took someone like yourself. I couldn't I couldn't say I didn't think God, God, that's a that's some really good product where, you know, to get out there to more than masses. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. and yeah, he was he was just always interesting when you're talking to him and he he knew everything about aloe, but I love the fact of how he was really telling me the differences. Yeah. And you know, where it was grown and I forget the actual Bember, Bera, the actual, uh, it was a compound inside his aloe that he would always. Well, he, he, he's measuring ace man and, and, and uh, different things, but you can come in. Anthony, you're recording right there. Yeah, we are. It's all good. We, we can create a vet. Just come in. Just do it. Yeah. yeah, come in. Do what you're doing. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, I want to I want to clarify the plump, healthy skin too, because you might think, oh, down on the ankles at ninety six years old, that's called pitting edema. No, 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 no that's not no, what I'm talking no, about. No, no <laughs> pitting edema. Yeah, no, and and it was, it was healthy skin. It was like, it was like a baby. Yeah, it was like you know, like a baby is like plump. You need like you know, people say oh, a fat baby is healthy. No, they're talking about like a plump. They're not fat. They're like, it wasn't oh. fat. It wasn't no. pitting edema. It wasn't no. swelling. It was no. just healthy, healthy tissue absolutely it was like a baby i yeah. he blew me away i remember telling my uncle like god his skin is like amazing there's a wrinkle on it yeah i i did a podcast um just a, a week ago with dr john lewis and i met him in 2014 he was a researcher he was the head researcher on this one particular project uh from the university of miami miller school of medicine and he's looking, he actually developed a product based on his research. So we're like 30 people in on this, uh, uh, on this project where he was the head uh, researcher. But they're looking at it from a perspective of making your body generate more stem cells. Mm-hmm. Aloe vera somehow doing that. He sees that as the mechanism. And in this study with small amounts, they were able to, I think there were 36 people in this study, literally reversing late stage Alzheimer's people with dementia, bringing them back somehow. And there's something to this stem cell where the damaged tissues, whether it be in our skin or in our nerves, them being replaced with new, you know, new cells. Yeah. Regenerating, uh, thought processes, even making those connections that, hadn't worked in a long time 
So there's something to it in the aloe. We right. don't understand it. I, I, and I, I, I agree with you. I, the skin is like, a, it's in Chinese medicine called the Wei Qi. It's like the most, it's the most outward energy. Uh, and it's, it's controlled by the lungs, which, you know, has a lot to do with, you know, breathing and that aspect. So the way you breathe and the way your skin is. But I think you recognize people that take aloe through the skin the easiest. Like you, there's something about the skin because that regenerates the fastest. Uh, one of the fastest cells to regenerate is skin tissue, where bone takes a lot longer, other tissues take a lot longer to regenerate. So I think you notice it much more uh, in the skin. It's, it's quite interesting. Are you enjoying the show thus far? One of the many health secrets that we have covered on the show is all around aloe vera, specifically drinking raw aloe vera, our aloe vera has helped our customers effectively heal their gut, increase their intestine health, lower inflammation in the body, eliminate and or decrease acid reflux, have glowing skin and hair, and so much more. Now, as a frequent member of our audience, you will be exposed to exclusive specials and coupon codes for the awesome products manufactured by Haley Nutrition. That's right, for simply being awesome and tuning in, you can get a mini discount to help you optimize and better your health. To see how we can help and support you on your health journey, tune into the episodes and listen for coupon codes that you can use at www.haleynutrition.com before you make your orders of raw aloe vera. Once again, it's www.haleynutrition.com. Now, back to the show. You know, there's there's a, a camera, and it's called the Eularian camera. You ever hear of that? No. Very fascinating. Uh, it was a, I think it was 2013. It was an MIT project, and it's a it's a slow motion camera. But when you say slow motion, it's 150,000 frames per second. Uh, and you understanding dealing with all this audio, what that means. So what they're able to do is... Actually, means you could fire a gun and I could watch it go like this. A hundred percent. No, slower than that. Yeah. <laughs> Slow, it's like, literally, like, way slower than that. Like, you see, like, the vibration of the gun before you see the bullet come out. Like, it's... it. You see the... You you see the the air, like, you know, moving. It's, it's incredible. But what they utilized it, you know, just on these little case studies and projects, was losing, like, babies, you can... You can see their 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 you can see the redness in their face change, but to the naked eye you see nothing. Mm. You can see the pulse, like here with naked eye I can't see the pulse, mm. but there you can actually see the pulse. For me, why I was quite fascinated if I ever did research, I you know, but when you look at the autonomic nervous system, we really don't have anything to measure the autonomic nervous system. Now they want to with heart rate variability and other stuff. But it, it, it really fails in comparison. There's so many different variables of diet and the time of day. And there's so many variables to heart rate variability that uh, it, it, it's, it's too slow. It's too slow of a technology. But it'd be, it'd be somewhat interesting because you can actually, because you talk about the skin and aloe where you can actually maybe see like real changes like quickly, uh, you know, by taking aloe juice and maybe seeing because the skin does regenerate so quickly of seeing different stuff. It's it's quite fascinating. They mostly use that camera now for construction, you know, to look at, uh, you know, uh, the sway oh. in in uh, when they're doing like towers, Easy. where I feel, uh, the cranes, mm -hmm. you know, because the naked eye can't see. So if you have more than like a, a whatever it is, a quarter degree of, of sway, it can cause it to fall. But you, you can't necessarily see that with the naked eye. So more uh, like things that take a lot of vibration, you know, where they can see the breakdown in the vibration before, well before there's a problem or a breakage. Uh, for me, I think it's, uh, it, there's a lot more for utilizing for, you know, looking at the autonomic nervous system and maybe some changes, stem cells, things of these natures that I think are, we're just at the forefront with AI and stuff like that. Yeah. Really, really... Uh, changing the course of 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 healthcare, if you want to call it healthcare, you know, it's it's yeah. I, I graduated in 1995, and it was years later that I heard of stem cells and telomeres, and never even knew what they were. And yeah, yeah, no. They called me doctor. I didn't even know what they were. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> but you know, it's it's um, you know we we get very we get very in indoctrinated, whatever that is, whether PT school, massage therapy school, chiropractic. You know, we get kind of pigeonholed. I always say is like, you know, I, I, I met a lot of wonderful, incredibly knowledgeable people in all the schools. I have three degrees after high school. Uh, but I didn't really learn how to help anyone. Like, I le- I was very knowledgeable. I, you know, I knew all the anatomy, knew all the special tests. I knew what to look for so I wasn't going to hurt someone. But I don't know if I really learned how to help anyone. I really had to learn that after school. So they gave me a piece of paper that says, okay, I know I'm not going to hurt someone or kill someone. Now go try and help someone. And that that took years to actually, you know, develop and learn and meet different mentors, people thinking outside the box, integrating other, you know, chiropractic or massage into, you know, learning other people. So it's it's kind of like a journey as opposed to, you know, you get out of school, I you know, it's <laughs> it's you know, it's just a piece of paper. And that's, that's what it was. Yeah. That's for sure. is like, you know, it's crazy with, you know, with technology and, and access to information. You know, there's, I met some of the brightest people who didn't have any degrees at all. Uh, you know, brilliant. I don't think Rodney went to chiropractic school. He definitely didn't go to PT school. But when it came to Allo and stuff like that, he was brilliant. Sure, you know, sure. So it's, you know, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I've heard someone say, I'm a genius. In this much space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, genius is, it has genuine in the word. You know, I think, uh, you know, I think people that are genius, they're just more authentic. They're more genuine in whatever that is, you know, whether it be creativity or, but I think people put genius only in the academic world of scholastic and intellect. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm more interested in, in people that are genius and, you know, and, in nature or you know seeing things that other people don't see to me that's very genuine very authentic uh i i love meeting people like that some people call them crazy but i love them yeah which is actually well it's genius in the genuine way but not necessarily in in the smarts meaning it could be smarter to not know that much but let the intelligence work through you yeah yeah and you can really know the difference of those people like a sailor it, there's an authenticity to them. There's a real, you know, it's it's an understanding. Like, I, I really don't know anything. You know, it's it's actually, I know very, 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 very little. You know, and actually, as it gets smaller and smaller, you know, it's like you become actually a lot wiser, a lot smarter. You know, it's like, don't let, don't, don't rely on my smartness, you know, um, more so, hopefully, let me be a tool in the hand of God. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Haley Show podcast. This month, we're including some content about the founder of the Allo Number no. 1 brand, Rodney Stockton. And to commemorate him, use the coupon code RODNEY, R-O-D-N-E-Y, for $25 off your purchase of $200 or more at HaleyNutrition.com. That's R-O-D-N-E-Y for $25 off your purchase of $200 or more now through the end of October 2024. Now, back to the show. Yeah, this is like the journey is uh, being able to just, you know, be present enough to realize and 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 see what's around you and see what's coming at you and, and utilize all your senses, not just an intellect. But, you know, your intuition, your, you know, your, these unknown aspects of, uh, of who we really are, uh, that, that always fascinates me the most. You know, I've done, I've done four different types of journeys, I would, I call them, you know, where I did uh, what's called a, um, a vision quest, where you go out into the desert for four days with no food and just water and just you wait for God to talk to you if you want to look at it like that. Uh, quite really cool. Huh. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, I hope it was a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, it was hot as hell too. Yeah, you go out with about two gallons of water. There's different ways of of signaling if you need like more water, but you you gain like so much wisdom of being bored to tears, like you know just 
there's nothing to do. There's, you know, you're just out there all day long. Like, in, you know, you're in your tent. And there's no, it's really, it's, and I did a, what's called a 10 day silent meditation. Um, I did, uh, uh, you know, I went out to Poland to do like Wim Hof to go into the cold water. And then I did a dark room uh, experience, which I'm not f- sure if you're familiar with. Well, you know, I, I'm guessing they're somewhat self-explanatory. Like uh, you said it was a 10-day silence. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine that's no talking for 10 days. Talking. <laughs> Just do y- like yoga, breathing, meditations. Yeah. I would imagine, a, you know, darkroom experience is kind of like being blind. Yeah. And uh, it is. And maybe you can't flying see. on other senses. Yeah, you can't see it. You know, so it's about 40 people in like a dormitory type where you come out twice a day to like listen to the guru and the masters. You can't see your hand in front of your face. And pro- within, in, in the, only, the, only, uh, the only restriction is, you know, you have to wear clothes uh, because some um, people don't. Think, yeah. think, think, it it makes sense. Sense. It goes sideways yeah. really quick. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Knocking into. But it is unbelievable that you don't knock into one person. Like you sense them very, very quickly. You know, you get how many spaces, how many steps it is, and over to get to your mat. And that was the hardest one. The hardest one was the dark. When you took away your sight, which is a sense that we rely so heavily on. Um, it was uh, it was quite interesting because I got there a day before, and it's in Thailand, so I figure it's gonna be hotter than heck, right? But when you take away light and you put in air conditioning, it was actually really cold the night I stayed there before it actually started. And I'm like, God. I, so I went to the store and I didn't bring enough really warm clothes, and I bought like a, a ski hat and. Like about three days in, I just love this time. Like I, you know, if I shot, whatever it is, like I put it, it me feel warm. Something about it, like I, I and it, because it's dark, I put it down, I, I, I couldn't find it. It was like Wilson in that in Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> you know, like, like I was so devastated, I could not find my. I, I'm re- I'm really relating with you because I do have a collection. I, I literally I have at least at least twenty of those winter hats. That oh, you can, so you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then if you put it in the dark, you can't find it. It's like, but you know, you start to realize like the it's like the little things. And the dark room was uh, I, I might want to do that again. It was very uh, it was it was a really cool experience. Mm-hmm. And all of those is to get in touch with. You know these this unknown aspect, and everyone that I left, um, it really helped me uh, to create. You know whether it be RPTs or true breaths or other stuff, and you know I'm very very grateful. It takes longer and it takes a lot of patience. You know a lot of people doing ayahuasca's and other stuff now too, as a more faster and not good or bad, but it's different. Um, these took a little bit longer to get your your message or your truth, so it's kind of interesting. We could go forever. I think we're going to have to do this again. Yeah, cool. Love it. Thank you for joining me on the Mike, it was great. podcast. Yeah. You're awesome. Awesome. Appreciate it. Wealth of knowledge. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that episode today on the Dr. Haley Show. Make sure to hit subscribe on whichever platform you are listening to this. If this episode made you think of someone, go ahead, take a screenshot, and share this exact episode with them. You can catch the show notes for this episode on www.drhaley.com. If you want to geek out with Dr. Michael Haley on other radical health topics, be sure to check out his YouTube channel where he posts exclusive video content. All the details are at www.drhaley.com and we can't wait to hang out with you on the next episode.